boys and girls, happy scent day. I want to testify to you guys that the Book of Mormon was written for our day. The people who are the Book of Mormon is about, it wasn't written for them. It was written for us. Heavenly Father inspired Mormon to put things in the Book of Mormon that would be for us, for our good, the things that we need to know. And this week we found that out. This week we learned about Korahor. Now Korahor, he was an antichrist. That means he went around preaching that there was no Christ. He was a deceiver. A deceiver tries to trick people. And that's what Satan does. Now look at this. I have some play money. And I have some real money. Which one would you rather have? The play money or the real money? Yeah, I would rather have the real money too. But Korahor and Satan tried to deceive us. They tried to say, look, this says 20. $20 is more than $5. You want $20. And if you were deceived, you might take it. But then if you went to the store and tried to pay for something with this, what would the cashier say to you? That's right. It's fake money. It's not worth anything. But if you know and believe that this is real money, then you can spend it. So we have to be careful not to be deceived by other people like Korahor, who is inspired by Satan. Now, the anti-Nephi Lehi's were not deceived by Korahor, and they took him to Alma. And Alma knew exactly what to do. He knew that no swords would be helpful in this situation. He knew the very best thing would be for him to bear his testimony to Korahor. He asked Korahor if he believed in God, and Korahor said, there's no way you can know that God is real. No one can know these things. If you believe that, you're crazy. Do you think people today might think those things or say them to you? They do. I've had people say something like that to me before. And so it's so good for us to read in the scriptures to see how Alma reacts. This is what Alma says. The scriptures are laid before thee, yea, and all things denote that there is a God. That means that everything proves or testifies that there's a God. Yea, even the earth and all the things that are upon it, like the animals and the plants. Yea, and its motion, how the earth spins around the sun. And also, all the planets which do move in their regular form do witness that there is a supreme Creator. Alma bore his testimony to Korahor, and that was very powerful. And we can do the same thing. And we can remember whenever we go outside and we look at the beautiful things out there, all those things testify or prove or denote that there is a God. I know that's true as well. Does that remind you of the song we started learning last week? It reminds me of it too. Let's review the first verse. We've seen about, he gave me my ears, that, oh wait, let's see, whenever I hear the song of a bird, let's review. Can you remember it? Let's sing it together. Whenever I hear the song of a bird, or look at the blue sky, whenever Bye, I love
first, we talk more about our senses. But to do that, we need a scarf. Can you pause the video and go find a scarf in your home? Maybe you'll use your dad's tie, or maybe your mom has a scarf in her closet. I don't know, go find a scarf and come back, okay? So, we sing, he gave me my eyes that I might see the color of butterfly wings. While we sing that, we're gonna make a big circle. We're gonna go this way. Okay, ready? He gave me my eyes that I might see. Now you're gonna pretend like your scarf is a butterfly wing. Make it look like a butterfly. The color of butterfly wings. Very good, he gave my eyes. He gave me my eyes that I might see the color of butterfly wings. Now we're talking about our ears. We're going to uh, make a circle this way now. He gave me my ears that I might hear. Then you're going to make a little squiggly all the way across. And you're going to say the magical sound of things. The magical sound of things. Very good. So first we talk about our eyes. Then we talk about our ears. We're talking about how Heavenly Father gave us these things so we can experience the world around us and know that He lives. Ready? Big circles. He gave me my eyes that I might see the color.
Do you remember our Pioneer Day song that we learned last week? We're going to learn the fun part that goes with it. But first, let's review it. Remember our whiteboard here? This song is all about how we can be pioneers. First, we talk about three things that we don't need to do to be a pioneer. Then we talk about three things that we do need to do to be a pioneer. Because you guys can be pioneers, just like your ancestors. So first we sing. You don't have to push a hand cart, leave your family dear, or walk a thousand miles or more to be a pioneer. You do have to have great courage, faith to conquer fear, and work for the might for cause that's right to be a pioneer. That last one is work with the might for a cause that's right to be a pioneer. Very good. Let's sing it one more time. All together. Then we'll learn the second part. You don't have to push a hand cart. Leave your family dear. Or walk a thousand miles. Just say, we are marching, ever marching. We are marching, ever marching. We are marching, ever marching. We are pioneers. Okay, ready? So we sing. We are marching, ever marching. We are marching, ever marching. We are marching, ever marching. We are pioneers. Okay, so we sing, we are marching, ever marching. We are marching, ever marching. We are marching, ever marching. We are pioneers. Because you know, the pioneers, we walk a long ways. And we have a long path ahead of us too. We gotta keep going, we gotta keep marching, one foot in front of the other. Ready, let's sing it again. We are marching, ever marching.
not be deceived by the people of the world who might try to deceive you like Korahor. I testify to you that as you follow Jesus Christ, you will be blessed. You will know the truth of the gospel. Jesus Christ lives. I know that's true. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.